Hello and welcome to another episode of the Music Rabbit Hole. I'm your humble host and music bus driver on today's musical journey, episode 137. Glad to have you with us. Glad to bring these types of episodes back. I know it's been a little while since my last rabbit hole dive. I think last summer was the last episode. So I'm going to be, as you may have noticed, putting out content more and more this year including these rabbit hole episodes. So uh, you can always participate by reaching out on Instagram, or we are on TikTok now as well, the music rabbit hole on TikTok. Uh, So yeah, message me if you have some show ideas and things like that. Otherwise, if you are listening to the podcast version of the show, there is a YouTube version available, video version. If you're you're watching the video version, there is a podcast version. Uh, So you can check out the show in a variety of ways. On today's episode, I'm going to be hitting up the Montclair, New Jersey band Pine Grove. Uh, The band's lineup changes over the years, but the core members, the main members, singer Evan Stevens-Hall and drummer Zach Levine. Um, This band resides somewhere in the alt-country, emo-type realm. There's definitely some, some country rock roots at times. There's definitely some emo at times. Uh, and they're they're a pretty interesting group. I mean, they've uh, produced five studio albums over the years. They've got a pretty diehard fan base. Their latest album that came out last year is Eleven Eleven. Uh, I actually bought this record on vinyl. I, I really enjoy this one a lot. I don't remember what my rating was on it. Uh, you know what? I can find that out right now. Uh, I do release my on on Instagram and on TikTok. I do release one album, one minute album reviews in case you want to potentially hear some new music. You can check out those album reviews, uh, try to tell you some similar bands and things like that and uh, let you know. And so maybe you'll find some some new music that way. Uh, Let's see. Where is Pine Grove on this list? I know I reviewed this album. Um, well, regardless, I would likely put this somewhere. Their 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 album that came out last year. I'd likely put it somewhere in the maybe like seven eight seven nine or low eight type range. It it is a really uh, emotional record. I think it it is one of those that sits with you for a while, and uh, I enjoyed it a lot. The uh, we're gonna head down the rabbit hole. We're gonna find five other somewhat similar bands to Pine Grove. Before I do that. I want to throw out some honorable mentions because I I like to stay away from the super big acts that are obvious connections. Um, So for for Pine Grove, there's a couple big ones, obviously. Uh, Pine Grove, if you you like these acts, you'll probably like Pine Grove. Sorority Noise, Neutral Milk Hotel, Big Thief, Manchester Orchestra, uh, Waxahachie, and Death Cab. I mean, if you... you, if you like Pine Grove, you probably like one of those other bands as well. There's some similar crossover sounds and influences at times. Those will not be on the list today. Those are honorable mentions. So let's just get into it here. I'll stop talking. Pine Grove 1111, the album came out last year. We're going to start with one of those tracks. It is called Alaska. This is one of my favorites. Alaska by Pine Grove. Again, I play about 30, 40 seconds of the song, and then we move on to the next track. By the way, I did get a comment once, and I know I shouldn't read the, the comments, but the comments once was like, this is so awkward. He's just sitting there while we're listening to the music. He's like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to get up and leave the room? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I supposed to cover my face while I'm listening? I try not to do anything too embarrassing. I'm not, like, singing along or anything. Um, but I, I always found that funny. All right, let's head down the rabbit hole. Let's find five other bands you might enjoy. First up, from New... Uh, I, I can't remember if it's pronounced Newtown or Newton, Connecticut. Uh, Avlov is the band. 395,000 monthly listeners. Three studio albums, including Buds, which was released in 2021. This is off that album. This song is called The Wishing Well. Avlov. Here we go. Cigarette. I had a lot to write on down. Wow. You built yourself a bigger set and acted like a 
Wishing Well by Avlov. Uh, again, uh, you can check out that album, uh, Buds, that came out in 2021. That song is The Wishing Well. Number two on our list from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Shout out to Michigan. Radiator Hospital, 326,000 monthly listeners, six studio albums. Uh, and, and I will say, before I play this track, so I dive into these bands when, when I put them on the list and <clears throat> really kind of get into their music more. And Radiator Hospital, I'd say, is definitely a little more upbeat, a little punkier than Pine Grove, than, than all of Pine Grove's discography. But I do think, and you'll hear some on this track, I do think there is some crossover. So if you do like Pine Grove, you might like Radiator Hospital. This song's called Cut Your Bangs. This is off their 2014 album Torch Song. Cut Your Bangs, Radiator Hospital is the band there. Again, uh, six studio albums, a lot to choose from if you're going through their music, but that is uh, one of their best, the 2014 album, Torch Song. Uh, third on our list today, an L.A. artist called Runner, uh, which is the the artist name for Noah Weinman. 415,000 monthly listeners, so definitely prolific there. Two studio albums. This is off the 2021 album Always Repeating. Uh, this is a great track. This is called Your Name on a Grain of Rice. Interesting name. Great, great song. I may skip ahead in this one a little bit or let it go a little long because it does take a little while to get into it. Scratch off in a birthday card. Or your name on a grain of rice. And I've been six and seventh grade. And it's not terrible, but it's too long. So there's obviously some folk, kind of country rock elements and this that song in particular is about a five minute track it uh it is worth a full listen by the way uh i do put a playlist spotify playlist together of these tracks obviously and you can check it out in the description of the video so you can go listen to these bands listen to these songs on your own uh this is where i like to stop and remind you please comment like uh comment like and subscribe to the show Again, I, I'm trying to put out a bunch of YouTube Shorts content for those one-minute album reviews, so you will be getting content throughout the week. Uh, some new albums that drop, and, and I listen to them, and I review them, and I package it all together. One-minute videos, super easy to consume, nice and fast. Um, I think I've got one, two, three, four, five that I put out this uh, past week. So definitely check those out. My recommendation for the week for sure is that Joseph album, uh, Permanent Damage, that came out on the 13th. Highly, highly, highly recommend. It's going to be one of my favorite albums of the month, which I will release a Albums of the Month video at the end of January. Uh, as far as the YouTube channel goes, right now, currently 3,470 subscribers. So we are 30 away from the big 3,500. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the show with your friends. It's not overly complicated. It's nice and simple. Here's some new music that you might like. Uh, and it's all subjective. So if you don't like it, it's totally okay. And again, the podcast too, you can rate, review, subscribe to that, and uh, check out the TikTok. The TikTok is, it's getting there. I'm putting out the one-minute reviews on there as well. Let's see where we're at with the TikTok. You can follow it at The Music Rabbit Hole on TikTok. I'll throw a graphic up or something like that. All right, let's get to the back half of the show. We got a couple more bands to hit up. 
Next up from Philly, we're hitting up another Michael. This is one of the smaller uh, bands that are on the list today. And and when I say small, I mean, it's all relative. I mean, 33,000 monthly listeners. I would love to have 33,000 subscribers. So 33,000, it's not small, but in the grand scheme of things, when you're comparing against some of these other bands, 400,000 and 500,000, 33 is kind of small. So you may not have heard of another Michael. Uh, one studio album came out in 2021 called New Music and Big Pop. This is off that record. This song is called I Know You're Wrong. Nice. I know you're wrong. Another Michael. Before we hit up uh, our last band of today, I'd like to just throw out these recommendations out there. If you haven't checked out uh, NPR Tiny Desk, the latest one with Soccer Mommy. Soccer Mommy was one of my favorite artists and albums of last year. Definitely check out that video. Besides that, four up, four down. We got one more band to go on this Friday morning. We started things off with, of course, the main band, Pine Grove. Then we hit up Avlov. We hit up Radiator Hospital, Runner, and another Michael. We will finish off today's show with the San Francisco band. Field Medic, 542,000 monthly listeners. This is the name of uh, the band name of Kevin Patrick Sullivan is the individual. Five studio albums. The album that dropped in 2022, it's a long name. Grow Your Hair Long if you're wanting to see something that you can change. So it came out last year. The song that will take us out today's off that record is called I Had a Dream That You Died. Field Medic is the band. The episode here was Pine Grove. We'll be back next week with another episode. And again, check out uh, the YouTube short section of our channel. I'll release vid- vid- videos there throughout the week. Check out the TikTok. Check out the podcast version. Whatever you want. As long as you're listening and watching, I'm super, super thankful and happy. Have a great weekend, everybody. Again, this is Field Medic. I had a dream that you died.